next we go for the glass uh, cabinet this is this is a new product for the for this year for 2020 and here I want to say is for all this glass cabinet we only have one two three four four models for each models for each models the size is fixed we only have uh, several standard size for example the first unit after we drag inside we can see for this unit is two piece door okay when you open the door we can see only two door and the size the width is only two choices 900 or 1000 millimeter two sizes okay and the depth also one two three three sizes three size 500 550 and 600 and this depth this depth is already including the door thickness and here is the height the height only two choices 2.4 meter or 2.7 meter so that means for each model the size is not cannot customize only for a few standard size is available next for this uh, cabinet for this glass cabinet when we open the door we can add the, some functional component as some more shelf, shelf inside we just double click and add functional component okay for the glass shelf only two options first option is with with hand rod the second one is without hand rod we just drag inside and then okay this hand rod this uh, shelf come out and the second one is without hand rod then it's changed right it's changed so that means if for the inside structure we already can add some shape okay we cannot add some drawers only for the shape is available and for some designers want to change the colors of this kind of the uh, frame so we just select this cabinet and in the here modify the materials or just write a technique here is the materials from here we can see this aluminum frame uh, surface material uh, colors two colors the four uh, black color and uh, uh, the yellow colors will be changed for the frame colors for this door frame aluminum door frame we also can change the colors we just double click select these door panels and then write a technique from here, these are all the available colors for this aluminum door frame. Have black color and also can be yellow color. They will be changed. And uh, once we select the door panel in the right side, this is the information of the door panels. Here, just the, the cover information, the top, bottom, left, and the right cover information. And usually, we do not change this cover information. Just follow the standard will be key. And the last one is for the uh, the layout of these two door panels because right now we can see these two door panels is the same size the equal size but we also can be uh, customized just choose the second option customize then we can set the size for example the left uh, door width we can choose be 400 or some other size for example uh, 600 the size will be customized the width will be changed okay after we understand the first unit for some other unit is the same just for the second unit is a uh, three piece door this one is four uh, four piece door and this one is six piece doors just the wings the standard wings is a little bit different okay after we finish the glass cabinet we go for the hardware models this for some standard unit uh, which is already with some hardware uh, unit for example the first one we just drag inside here is the total size of this unit and from here we can see we already have the hardware in the in this area right already have hardware and we cannot change the size of the hardware so that means for this cabinet the height is cannot change it we only can change the wings 
and the depth cannot change the height. For example, the winds make to be one meter. Okay, this is wrong. Okay, uh, should be for this part should be from three hundred to one point two meters. So that means for this drawer winds we need to change it, right? We need to change the drawer front panel size. So if you want to change this drawer front panel size, uh, usually we just double click the selected cabinet, and in the bottom side here is the panel average, the panel average, a left click to select this pan uh, draw panels and then right click to confirm then to be suppose we want to be, to be equal then okay then it's change it but now now this uh, hard way is go outside okay this one can be produced okay can be produced that's not looks good okay so that's why we do not suggest our designer to make this kind of to make this kind of design to make this kind of size we change the size okay after that this arrow is come out again means for this drawer panels the size is not standard so we need to change the drawer from panel size panel average the left click and then the, this option means equal size equal size then okay we will change it Okay, and after you understand the first one, the, for some other unit, actually it's the same, it's the same, for example, this unit. Actually for this unit, uh, it's the left and the right two models uh, combined together. So we just select the right uh, part and then this is the total size, total size, and also we can delete the panels and change the inside structure, uh, it's okay. This for some other uh, models, for example, we choose this one. Okay, after you double click this cabinet, and from here, this all the information the total winds, all the winds can be changed, and the depth and height can be changed because the depth and height is decided by the size of this hardware. And this is is the size of this cabinet because for this cabinet the size we can change it the winds from 100 to 900 the depths from 100 the height from 100 to 890 and the distance between this cabinet to the bottom of this uh, back panels from 60 to 606 uh, mm all this size is available so uh, but for this cabinet we cannot change the inside structure that means if you want to add functional component not click there's no options for the functional components so that means we cannot change the inside structure of this cabinet but for this cabinet we can change inside structure just right click and from here from here to add the functional component here is all the available panels and the structures is uh, can uh, drop inside for this cabinet Okay, after we finish this uh, unit, for some other unit, actually it's uh, similar, the similar, uh, because I think it's very easy. So here we do not have very detailed instruction one by one. After we finish the hardware models, next we go for the TV unit, TV cabinets. For TV cabinet, actually we already have two uh, models. Already have two models. The first one is for basic frame uh, works on countertop. That means uh, for this unit, it's a top panel cover these two side panels and also without or without the back panels the second unit the structure is the top panel and the bottom panel cover these two side panels and also without the back panels if you want to add the back panels just press K to add functional component from here to add the back panels will be okay and once we select the back panels, here is uh, the hardware information. Use screw or uh, no hardware, no hardware. And this is the distance between the back panel to the wall. We can we can change to be one hundred. Then the position will be changed. Okay. And also for this kind of TV cabinet, we can just double click and in the right side, this is the total size. And here 
this is information for the side panels the left side panel and the right side panels we can select yes or nothing if you choose nothing means without the left panel and here is the right panel we must choose yes that means the left and the right panel uh, we maximum delete one panels we cannot delete these two panels at the same time so that means if we want to delete the right panels the left panel we must choose yes and then the right panel can choose nothing okay this is for the tv uh, unit so actually usually for the tv camera we usually use the uh, base camera and some top camera or wall camera to make the tv camera okay usually we do not use these um, two models after we finish the tv cabinet next we go for the t tables team table this all the uh, some standard team tables well, and we just uh, drag inside drag inside and then you can change the total size and uh, change the inside structure uh, will be okay so this part uh, is easy our designers just drag inside and do some small adjustment according to this uh, standard models will be okay this for some uh, team tables, T table. Next, for some other abelic uh, uh, cabinet, okay, we just uh, drag inside. Okay, for all this uh, abelic uh, cabinet, abelic cabinet, um, after we drag this cabinet inside, and then the software will remind us there's some errors okay so that means for all this kind of cabinet right now actually it's not only it's not fully open it's not a full open that means before before the production we still need to do some uh, special approve to the factory because the factory need to check our design uh, in the future our uh, head office designers will do this job for you so that means in the future if you choose this kind of models we will find out there is some uh, error remounting error remounting uh, right now our designers uh, you can just ignore this uh, error remounting will be okay because before the production the head of designers will do the uh, special approve for you okay so for this for all the uh, special abelic cabinet this is the total size and the total information for the size and the depth in the left side and right side and also the uh, thickness and also the kickboard information and also if you want to change the quantity of the shelf we cannot add functional component we only can select this shelf and use the uniform use the uniform to add the shelves to add one more shelves this for some for some other special abelic cabinet actually this is similar okay the only one thing we need to notice is right now all this unit is not fully open that means before the production our head of designers will do the special approve to the factory okay because factory need to check this design so that means if our, we choose this uh, cabinet there will be the error remounting Right now, for our designers, we can just ignore this error mounting will be okay. After finish this uh, uh, models, next we go for the wall mounted system. This is a new uh, product for this year, for 2020, the new product. Here we only have two choices. First, we, we learn the second models. We just drag inside. From these models, we can see uh, this panel is the back panels, and this is the bottom panels. For this uh, black uh, aluminum, this is the, the vertical columns to support this back panel and support the bottom panel or, and support some other shape and uh, other drawers. And from this picture, maybe it's more clear for us. And from here, this is the top view. This is the top view for this uh, wall mounting system. And this is the hardware. The hardware we call it a vertical columns. The vertical columns. This hard hardware is fixed on the wall, and this is the back panels. The back panels is fixed on the uh, 
these vertical columns. And this one is for the visible side. For the visible side, so this is the filler, factor the filler. And here we use the, the, the hardware to, to fix this filler and uh, vertical columns. Here is for some other uh, hardware accessories. For this one is for some accessories for fixed with the shelf, fixed with the shelf, and this for some accessories fixed with the drawer box, with the drawer box. This also for the hardware to fix for the drawer box. And in the bottom part, there is some adjust leg for this uh, vertical colors, for this vertical colors. Now for this, uh, from this 3D, maybe it's more clear. Uh, we double click select these models and here the winds, the depths and the height from here it's only the winds it can be changed the depths and the height is cannot change because the height is decided by this vertical columns the depth is also decided by this hardware so that ways that means the height and the depth cannot change it we only can change the winds for them 900 or some other size is available next for this part this is for side information for left side information this is for right side information for the left side information actually we have three choices now we can see difference the first option means the visible side with the filler similar with filler this is the visible side without any other cabinet in this area so this is the filler and we use the hardware use this hardware to fix the filler to the what columns just like this one this is a filler this is the hardware this hardware fix the filler and the vertical columns and the second option means only the what columns without the fillers that means maybe in this side we have one more cabinet one more cabinet another option is for the uh, without the what columns without what columns uh, all these three options for the right side is the same the same options for the right side panels the first one means the filler The first one means the filler, the second one means only the uh, vertical column, the third one means without the water columns. Okay, and now we change it back, change it back. This first one means the filler. And I suppose we add one more models. Okay, these two models is put together put together usually if these two models put together for the left model the right side we can uh, we do not need to add the fillers we choose uh, the right side we choose just the what column will be k the vertical columns okay and for the right models for right models the left side the left side is we can choose without without the what columns and then we can put together the distance change to be zero okay and from here we can see these two side panel these two back panel these two back panel will share this uh, what columns at the same time together okay but here we have some uh, small bugs for this software from here we can see this the arrow is come out that means these arrows remind us for these two models is conflict is conflict uh, this is more uh, software bugs right now for our designers we no need to care about this uh, error remounting okay because before the production uh, we just uh, move the position of this uh, models we became and also the factory we are uh, factory will serve this error remounting for us so right now for our designers we, we don't need to notice uh, this uh, error remounting okay next uh, we is we added the functional component for this uh, wall mount system we just double click select this wall mount system and the right click means add 
functional component. Here is only three options. The first option is for some um, drawer box. The second one is for some shelf. The last one is for some hanging rod. Suppose here we choose the uh, shelf right inside. And for this one also the shelf. Okay. Once we add the shelf inside, we can see For this shelf is already automatic with the LED light on the bottom panel, okay, on the bottom side. So if we, after we select this shelf from the right side, okay, from the right side, this is information. The size cannot change it. The width, the depth, also the thickness cannot change it. Here is some other information of this shelf, okay. Here is for left side need to share the hardware or not. Means this means the right side near shares need shares hardware or not, and we have two options. The first one means do not share, and second one means share. What does this mean? Because from here we can see this is the black uh, hardware. Okay, for this black hardware means this one, right? For this black hardware, contact connect with the word column and also connect with the shelf with the shelf. That means the shelf will fix on this hardware. Okay, suppose here we have one more shelf in this uh, models and we make the same level. Okay, uh, 300. This one also make the same levels. 300. For these two shelf, for these two shelf, actually we can share one hardware. One hardware will be key. For example, if we sure for this one, for the right side, we choose share the hardware, and then we can see if we change the size, we can see for this side with the hardware to fix this uh, shelf, and but for this shelf is without the hardware to fix this shelf because. If we make the same level, if we make the same level, we can share this hardware at the same time. Okay, this means share the hardware. But actually, we do not actually we do not suggest our designer to share the hardware because uh, if we if if we use one hardware to support two shafts, maybe it's not very stronger. So that means we suggest our designers just. To Choose the default option. Do not share will be key. Okay, do not share this hardware. Okay, this part. Okay, next this one is for the information of the uh, lights. Here choose yes means already with the light and here no means without the light. Without the light, here we choose yes. If we choose yes, this means the distance be, uh, of this light the distance between the light to the front side of the shelf we make to 100 or some other size will be okay just change the positions and this one is for the driver information for the driver for this LED light you can choose the driver or uh, some other uh, options the first one is without driver and the second one with the driver with the mem memory switch and the this one means the driver with the door control switch, okay? And this one actually uh, right now is not available, so we can just ignore this part. Okay, this is for the shelf. For the next option is we can add a functional component. This is for the hanging rod, and this is easy, just uh, put it here. We'll begin. So the hanging rod will fix on the bottom of this shelf. Nice conflict. We need to change the position of the hanging rod. Okay. Now it's okay. For these two uh, body conflict, uh, we don't need to uh, care. Huh? Next, for some other functional component, the first one means the, the box. Okay. You can design some open box just like this. And this is for the box. D and double click to select this box. And from here, this means the size information the height only the, we only can change the height information 
and here means the structure, structure information. The first one means the side panel cover the top and bottom panel. The second one means the top and bottom panel cover the side panels. So this is all the structure information. Here suppose we want to add there some drawers inside. So here we just change the width uh, height to be 300. Or we just keep the height to be 500. And then installation panel, the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. To add the drawers to be two drawers, suppose. Now this drawer is come out. And we also can change to be built, built in drawers. And also can change the drawer sliders. Okay, this is for the um, box with the drawer inside. We can design like this. So now we already finished all the functional component for this wall mount system. The first one means for, for some um, box. Inside this box, we can design uh, some drawers. And the second one is for the uh, shelf. For the shelf. And the last one is for the hanging rod. Hanging rod fixed on the shelf. Okay, next we go for the first option for this wall mounted system, the first models. This for some light, LED light. Okay, this light is only uh, fixed on the panels, fixed on panels. For example, this panel we want to add the LED light. So we just select from here, drag inside. Okay. Okay, and then change the position in front a little bit. Okay, but after we drag this uh, LED light inside, there's uh, one more error. Okay, these two errors we don't need to care. The first error means he just remind us for this LED light, okay, the structure must be the side panel cover the top panel and bottom panel. Means these two side panel must cover the top panel and the bottom panel. So that means we need to change the structure. We need to change the structure of this box to be side panel, cover the top and bottom panels. And then we change the size of this light. The left extent minus 18, the right extent also minus 18. And then after we change the size and change the structure of this, of this cabinet, then we can confirm, have confirmed. And this one means the, the driver information, the driver information. And this one means the uh, door and the switch information. The first one means nothing means without switch. And the second one, this, this kind of switch is not nice, uh, uh, is not available. The last one for the door control switch. So now we already finished the uh, wall mounted system. The last model is for some spatial uh, shed, cabinet, spatial structure. We only have one model. That means in this side, we cover our U shape for this cabinet. We cover U shape for this cabinet. And here is the total size. This is the keyboard information. And this one means the distance of this uh, U shape. For example, we make it to be 300. Means the distance from the bottom of this uh, U-shape to the bottom of this cabinet. And this one means the cutting size, 400 means cutting height, okay? This one means 200, 400 means the height, this one means the cutting winds, 200, the winds, the winds. And this for for the panel thickness, okay? Actually, for this kind of models, uh, we do not use too much, okay? Uh, okay, now we already finished all the uh, special cabinet models, okay? Because this part is very important and also very common use. So I suggest our designers spend some time to familiar about these models, just to drag inside and to change the size and change the inside structures. Okay, so much for this part. Uh, thank you.